Fashion, I'm eye fashioning. Oh God, like this. Me the boy and shy yo, shy yo, shy yo. Yeah, yeah, fucking with you, because yeah. Got your body in a package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you not see? I'm falling, I'm falling. Fall. Look like royalty. You strutted the runway. You understood the assignments. Fashion show should just be. A fashion show try to do too much therefore the winning level is level two yeah. it's your boy t to the o to the b i t simply to bit guys welcome back to my youtube channel please if you are new kindly subscribe please subscribe like comment and also share guys thank you so much now on to the main video my guys welcome to another exciting recap of today's wager tax the theme of the tax is fashion art and craft biggie challenged the housemate to design a variety of gen z inspired clothes and also prepare for a runway showcase the winning level will be chose based on creativity great teamwork and most organized presentation so since level one won the last wager tax, Biggie asked them to choose which level to present first and they chose for level two to present first. Lastly guys, they were given 20 minutes for their presentation. Groovy was their spokesperson, he did the intro before they all started strutting the wrong way. For the individual work, Modella had the best work, like she was strutting the wrong way. She even took off her jacket like when she got to the front of the stage. Amaka said no carry last, Amaka was swinging her hips left to right as she was walking. I also think Modella had the best outfit, followed by Fina. After the level 2 housemates have all done their 1 1 presentation, they now paired up. And when they got to the front of the stage, now they did a little bit of dance or they did a kind of like red pose and all that. And it was, so it was so amazing. Like it felt so good. Like I was watching an actual fashion show. Like they looked so good. Like they look. Although I would say, like, I would say they were really Gen Z inspired, Chao, but, but they can look good generally. When they were done with the paired up stuff, then they started coming out one one and they were saying what Gen Z fashion meant to them. But Modella forgot her lines. She wanted to say something about eye fashion, but she recovered, sure. Then Groovy came out and did the ending verse while challenging the level one housemate to beat them at their own game. So generally, guys, here's my thought about the level two presentation. Like, it was giving what it was supposed to give. Like, it was, I won't say perfect, but it was okay. I was actually watching a fashion show. Like, I could pay to watch this live. And you all now have an undying love for the trenches, guys. The original trenches, guys. Now, time for the level one, guys. So, first off, they asked Biggie not to play for them song that they already prepared their own music. Chex was the host and Doreen was his co-host. They kind of divided themselves into two groups. Like, one group was Bella Stitches and the other group was Deji Wardrobe. Whereby, Della and Bella. Bella. Bella was the designer of Bella Stitches while Deji was the designer of Deji Wardrobe. Guys, so Giddy Fire now came out and started singing. Apparently, that was the live music, Giddy Fire, which Rachel to his backup singer. Like, there and then, I said this was a no, this was a miss and eat, I swear, because Rachel's voice was cracking at some point, and Giddy Fire's voice was cracking. Like, there's no auto tune, there was no background beat or anything. So, like, it can't be spectacular. So, based on the looks now, guys, she, she had the best look. Honestly, I couldn't even recognize she was looking so fine. And makeup, the skirt, like the plates on the skirt was on point. Like, you could know that she kept, she worked hard for it. Then, Alison had the best straws. Like, Alison was swinging her waist with her head face forward. Like, I also didn't understand the AG's wig. Like, that wig does not belong. I don't understand. This is Gen Z fashion, guy. Wig was so Jesus Christ era. So after Bella Stitches came out and the the his wardrobe came out, then did a pure walking and it was so obvious that it was not real because the other people like I put like they're working together, but like the other person turns back for the other person you get. So like there was no rehearsal in a way. So not organized like that. After that, though you interviewed both designers, Deji and Bella, then Giddy Fire and Rachel took their own work and they all went back and continued singing, then took their bath after the count of three. So my honest opinion now, guys, they had some really good looks. Like Chichi look was okay. Their look was just there. Alison looks was just there. Nothing interesting. 
Um, Emmy's look, Emmy's look was actually very okay because nowadays boys actually wear crop top. These Gen Z guys they wear crop top, so it was looking like in that era. However, unlike level two, that there was actually no exact miss. In this case, there were big misses. Adekunle was a bit too much. Like I did not understand what was happening in the back of his shirt. Like the back was just somehow. Also, um. Dotun's wig was a big miss and Hello Swag's marks like Labaja, like guys, they said Gen Z and this is this is this was just not it you get guys like this, this are a big obvious misses and again so not the presentation was not so organized unlike the level two guys. Now that the presentation was done, Biggie said it was a beautiful showcase. He then called Fina and told Fina to remove her sweater. I was like, hey, what did Fina do this time? Oh, he then told her to come out. Before complimenting her that she looks like a princess, that she looks like royalty. And she was quite shy, but like, why are you shy? <laughs> then he called Alison out and told her that she strutted the wrong way with the grace of a cat. He called Emmy saying that he understood the assignment and is the embodiment of Gen Z fashion. Then to Chisha and Modella together, he said he was asking them whether they let the big brother out because their outfit was so beautiful, it looked like it was made in a factory. Biggie then rounded up by saying that the competition was very fierce and this um, wager task brought out the competitive side from both um, levels. He then said to level 1, a fashion show should be a fashion show. You guys try to do too much and sometimes too many cook spoils the whatever they say. <laughs> and for this reason, the level 2 guys won. And guys, I was happy for my original trenches guys. Like, like I, was always, I was just praying that please pick level 2, level 2, level 2 because anything forget the they tried to, to do too much or anything level two won this thing hands down like level one said cannot even commit like presentation wise the way they work the way they showcase the, the way they organize themselves on the stage like you know that these guys came prepared and they came to win the money there you have it guys level two guys won this week's wager tax and so they are all going to get 1500 bets pocket nera <laughs> Guys, let me know your thoughts about this week with your tax in the comment section. Like, do you feel level two guys won fair and square, or do you feel level one guy should have won? Let me know in the comment section. Let us fight this out because if you say level one should have won, then we will fight. Though. we will fight because for me, and down level two guys gave what they were supposed to give. Like, do you understand? Oh well, that's all for now, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you so much. Love ya. Bye.